So how you doing, Vasco Vivius? You doing good? Man, that's good. That's always good. Nope. Man, where are we going? Really? So stupid. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I uh, wish it, I could share my hard your raging Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. I don't know about all that. I'm a dead man. I was murdered. Now I'm a murderer. Tell me how this is a gift. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. So he actually knew who I was. That's trifling. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. What's that? Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. No! Please, go on. I don't want it! The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Well, okay. Man, where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she popping off at? What's she got going on? Let's go find her. Where you at, girl? Am I going? Am I going to catch the plague walking up in here? Consider the offer from that cabin What up? The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. You never gonna see her. Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words He's gonna be are dead. Kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. She's a vamp. Isn't she? Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. I bet. You seem surprised. 
Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. It seems I'm the butt of a joke, or pigeon of a con. Dr. Swansea might have told me who I was going to meet. I know you're a man of action, Doctor, but take a moment to contemplate the terrain. In this war, discretion is both weapon and shield. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Then why are you here? Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Uh-oh. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. Yeah, right. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. I mean, they got the violin or the cello going hard. Meanwhile, this combo's in front of this patient. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Man. Of course, the gossip's a female. What the? Why are you gonna let me come back here? This is stupid. I really just wanna give that guy his wallet. I don't see him nowhere. You ain't who I'm looking for. Spare your obedient slave. Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. What's that? What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave, threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, 
better than any patient, nurse, or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Ooh. Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Yes! Woo! That's one of my favorite words. I don't really use it on the channel, but it's one of my favorite words. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Oh, well, shit! Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. Where one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. And that same female demands respect too, don't she? <laughs> All right. We got three bits to look for. Dang. Okay. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. No. Who am I looking for? Uh-oh! Wallet time! Wallet time! Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. You really think they'd be talking? They'd be talking about skin color like that back then? I don't think so. Goodbye, Milton. Yay, get it off my screen. Resignation and more determination. Oh my god, I'm getting so angry. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. Oh, and I'm Dr. One. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. I'm just thankful I found you. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. Mm. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Because people's lives are at stake. Lousy hoes? I mean, O's? Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Now get out of my way. It's locked. Not this one. I'm not reading that letter.
Where is this woman hiding? Is our little mystery closer to being solved, Doctor? I think of oh, nothing yeah. else, my lady. My situation is delicate, and it occupies all my thoughts. The blackmail must stop. Then leave. I need assurance. This game makes it very difficult to locate stuff. Is it you? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Okay. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Really? Hint required. Man, F these hints. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You but can't you allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? He gets paid more than you, why are you gonna save his ass? I mean, that's all I'm screaming. Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? No. Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Clearly. I can smell you, you old fart. Well, let's get out of here. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay. The most difficult one now. Is that her? Eavesdrop. Press L3 to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinctive glow. By looking at <clears throat> looking at the citizen, you'll unlock a special interaction. What's that read about? Don't worry, you're, safe. you're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Uh. What we gonna do? <gasps> She's gone. Retrieve the thug. <laughs> okay. A 
Oh, we gotta load. We gotta load. Oh, this is trifling. Oh, there's some serious stuff happening. Oh, it's really... It is really going down down here. I want to go in this room. I can't go in this room? Man, this is... This is such bull. Here it goes. Nuff. The lamest. Something in my eye. Me oi has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. By some scowls or something? I'm about to drag this eyelash up out my eye. I can't see. Uh oh. We got scowls to the left. We got scowls to the right. Chris cross. I forgot the button. Ah! I cut ye. No, don't fall. Why are you gonna fall? You messing everything up, Doc. So if y'all haven't noticed, I have brightened the screen up. Since last video. What is this? Some see me, some want a piece. Man, who wants it? Alright, bend down there. I'm gonna go this way. That direction, huh? Okay. Well, I'm going this way. Getting some goodies. A creeper. Ban of the dragon. Rah, 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 rah. Ooh, what's this? Hold on. I eat ye. This looks like a boss fight. Oh, I beat your what ass to a beast. We gotta run. Oh my god! Oh, 
I need stamina. Loaded. We're gonna see how this shoddy does. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Don't you do that! Oh my god! How do I reload? Are you serious? You gotta reload that. Lame. That was lame. I got time. No, they didn't. Oh my God. They took my bullets. Mm, this game is getting worse by the video. So when you lose to someone, they make it that much harder for you to come back and fight them. Ridiculous. Come on! Okay. Just had to sit here and fight this stupid thing till I finally beat it. Never use guns. They're worthless. Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. So stupid. If you are sick, if you have no money, 
Whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petrescus's house and present this coupon. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. What just happened? Well, okay, guys, as that was a rat in the hospital. Goodness gracious. That's, I mean, this stupid beast got me so mad. So, but anyways, guys, slap that like button. Subscribe to Voskovids if you knew. We'll continue this lame vampire game. I mean, just because I don't like it don't mean I'm not going to continue. Because, heck, who knows, maybe I will like it. But right now, I don't. This is made awfully. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, peace.